IDK kind of freaks me out, fills me with a deep sense of loneliness. I don't know why I still allow this to happen. I am now live on twitch.tv slash Live. As Minecraft Live goes live, I will be live covering the show and all of its glory. So feel free to finish this video before heading on over to Twitch because I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe will be unveiled in the show. As well as there being a snapshot 24w39a, of course you may subscribe. There are definitely several tie-ins with the next update as you can see. Bundles are no longer experimental. That's not really the biggest change here. Equipping a carved pumpkin on your head now removes the player marker from maps. Brilliant. There's also a small UI change, very subtle but very useful as well. You can see the highlight as you're moving your mouse over items in your inventory is now behind the item as to not obscure anything that is on display. Very good change. But the last thing I'm going to go over is how to lock chests in the newest snapshot. So, uh, <laughs> you'll notice that it's logging my admin commands from console into the chat. I believe this is a bug. You can see if I place the chest down, I cannot open it. Chest is locked. Previously, the way to lock a chest is through something like this, where you can add NBT to lock a chest with a key code, and then if you have an item that's named this string, you'd be able to open it. That is no longer how you do it. The way you do it is now this. You use the lock item predicate, and then you just list the item or items that you wish to be used as the key to unlock the chest. So if I give myself the chest and place it down, I can't open it. But if I'm holding an anvil, I can open it. You may also add a count tag, so the number of items that you should be holding, let's say 32. If I place this down, I can't open it because I'm not holding 32 anvils. I have to hold exactly 32 anvils to open the chest. So that does it for the... That's gonna do it for the snapshot. That is all. Let's get into Minecraft Live. So can I just say, I was a bit shocked to hear this, but Vu is apparently not gonna be hosting tonight. Minecraft Live is coming with a new look, feel, and vibe. And don't worry, I'm not the one hosting it. Is this something that I'm missing? Are people just not as fond of Vu hosting the shows? Is it his demeanor, his character? What's wrong here? People just don't like him. We have some pale blocks here and general idea of what they'll look like. There are two color maps that you can modify in the game through resource packs. This is one of them. This is the grass overlay. This is the foliage overlay. This controls the color of leaves and this controls the color of grass. And if you just run those two in game, you'll find this happens just like that. So obviously it's not going to look exactly like this because I've just extrapolated from the images that they've shown on Twitter, but grass kind of looks like this. It almost has a similarity to mycelium now. <laughs> so these are oak leaves. In fact, let's just grow a tree here. Now this has also sparked some debate about whether this is going to be an end update biome? I don't think so, and you'll see why later in the death message screenshot, unless they've fabricated that. So hue saturation changes, that's all you really need. Just dial down the saturation, increase the lightness. Done. And there we go. Everything is now paled up. This might be a step towards something really interesting in the game, but I really don't know what it's going to be. But a grayscaled biome is certainly a very interesting choice. Now the reason I have the moss block here is because of the Instagram screenshot from Minecraft, where they showed a death message that was pixelated. It's because of this image that I truly believe that this is not an end biome thing. This looks like it's really taken place in the overworld. It's truly a trend that's gonna be real very soon with grayscale- oh it looks like clay. Grayscaled blocks? That's gonna be something. This could be the pale gardens biome. Just start bone milling the ground and you've got grayscaled grass everywhere. And then they posted the TikTok. So apparently Minecraft is turning into a horror game. So you pause on this frame, you've got a good image of a blurred out creaking mob with three eyes and a rather slender figure similar to the Enderman. Like I really dialed up the leveling here. I really cannot uncover anything else from this. However, if you've played Minecraft Dungeons, this might be very familiar to you because in Dungeons, we had a mob called the Watchling. Not quite the same because the Watchling has many eyes on its body while the creaking seems to only have three. With all that being said and done, I decided to attempt where are you going? You know what? <laughs> I was gonna leave it. I was like, do I just want to rotate the head so it's... Fine, you can be a cyclops. Okay, so this is the creaking... Oh. So this is the mob that I believe it'll look like. It looks like the Watchling, but I got rid of all the eyes, apart from the three that appear in the image and then the videos. Got a rather long head and long body. It's a bit bulkier, but just like the Enderman. Why is your head on backwards? I haven't tried this. Why did I look at it? Out. You're not so scary. Yeah, I win. Join me on Minecraft Live as we sit, chat, and laugh at all the fun times we'll be having.
it's going to be a great show. <laughs>